Hi, my name is Jen. I am a freshman here at the University of Florida studying telecommunications and I am from Punta Gorda, Florida. So talking a little bit about how I got involved on campus, so I'm currently a member of the Florida Cicerones, which is the official student ambassadors of the University of Florida. So we give tours, work with recruiting athletes, and host a president. Um, so it's a really awesome opportunity. Um, I was super grateful to be involved with it. It really gave me a home on campus. In addition to Florida Cicerones, I'm also involved with GHQ. So I have a radio show every Tuesday from 7 to 9. You can listen, 95.3. Um, I'm also getting involved with WUFT, which is our... Um, TV station here on campus. So every Monday through Friday, there's a show live broadcast through Alachua County at 5 p.m. And I'm also involved with Dance Marathon, which is this really cool opportunity where we fundraise money for Shan's Children's Hospital, which is also affiliated with UF. And we raise money for the kids. And there's a big dance in the O-Dome every single spring semester. And it's 26.2 hours long. So we had to dance, we can't sit down. And it's really, really awesome. And it helps a lot of kids and their families. Online learning at UF is really unique because all of our professors will go to classes. So regular residential students will attend those classes and they get to ask questions similarly if you were there and you get to hear those people asking questions and you get to watch the class happening. So you're not just reading a book, you're not just reading pages, you're actually fully engaged in the class and you get to watch along with them and take your notes. And the conversation doesn't stop there because you actually get to have office hours with those professors. So if you are a residential student here in Gainesville, you are always welcome Welcome to go to office hours with professors live in person, which I personally found very, very helpful. And students that aren't in Gainesville can actually take advantage of this opportunity as well. Lots of professors will have Skype calls or Zoom meetings, and you can still have the opportunity to interact with that person one-on-one. -on -one. And you also have the opportunity to interact with TAs, which are teaching assistants, and they can help you with your coursework as well. And any of the tutoring options that are available here on campus are also available to online students for you at absolutely no cost. If you're interested in moving to campus, there are tons of opportunities to do so. There are lots of off-campus housing options, including apartments. There's also a dorm-style apartment building that can give you a little bit more of your traditional experience that you might receive here on campus as a traditional student. But if you don't know who you want to live with, there's also Facebook pages where you can match with different roommates. When I received my PACE acceptance, I really didn't think that I was going to be a student. I didn't think I was a Gator, but I think that that is absolutely false. If you receive PACE as your offer, you are 100% a Gator. You might be learning in an untraditional way, but that doesn't mean that you can't have an impact on this university like any other student here on campus. You can get involved in absolutely anything, and I think that it's a really unique opportunity that you're able to take advantage of. A lot of students might not be able to show up to a meeting in the middle of the day, but because you get to build your own schedule, you can show up to anything. You can get involved in any way that you want, and I think it's a huge advantage, especially in your freshman year.